Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius. Today we are in a fish room and today's topic is what fish in aquarium hobby will eat poop. Okay everyone, so for this video I'm just going to let the camera sit in front of this one tank. This is a 55 gallon grow tank. Just have a couple of Buenos Aires Tetra in here. I have a few Geophagus Dandechneri. Under that rock I have a blue Texas cichlid. Um, I also have this little fella which is said to be a high quality red Texas cichlid. And then I have somewhere in here a South American bumblebee catfish. That fish I never see and I probably won't ever see unless I move a rock. That's one of those fish you buy and you just don't know what happened to it because it's always hiding. But yeah, that's all the inhabitants in this aquarium. And today I just want to share a topic of fish or just tank inhabitants that can eat poop in an aquarium hobby. I know that this can be a concerning topic, especially if you're first started in fish keeping. You want to know the best way to benefit your aquarium so you look for fish that can take care of your tank. And the first thing I want to say is that plecos do not eat poop. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because I remember when I first started in a hobby, someone told me to get a pleco because they not only eat algae but they also eat poop. If you get a pleco, you're just going to get a lot more poop. Um, they do eat algae, most plecos. I hear that adult plecos, um, they really don't eat too much algae. And that's mainly because I believe in aquariums, there's not enough algae to sustain large adult plecos. So that's why they start trying to suck the, um, the slime of fish and stuff like that. But most juvenile plecos and smaller species of plecos, they will eat algae, but no pleco species will eat poop in an aquarium. So if you get one for that purpose, um, you're definitely going to fail. So the next question is, are there fish in an aquarium hobby that can eat poop? Now in a while, um, you have fish that fit into the category of scavengers in a wild. I believe that there are many different types of catfish, um, even loaches that will eat poop. However, in an aquarium, it's just a completely different setting. Now the thing is, just about everyone who keeps an aquarium, especially community aquariums with a lot of fish, um, we feed our fish too much, especially me. Maybe not you guys, but I know me, all my tanks I overfeed. Um, in my butter cold fry tank, I have those little worms because I overfeed, I think it's called planaria, I have worms in there. In that tank, my um, reef tank, I have, what are those, spaghetti worms? And that's because I overfeed that tank. So this is the main problem with me. I overfeed my tanks. And a lot of people overfeed their tanks. And in aquariums, when you overfeed your tank, there's no need for a fish to eat poop. Catfish that would normally eat poop in a while, they have no need to eat poop in aquariums because there's just so much food. When it comes to eating poop, that's just a, a last option. If there's no other option, if a fish in a while doesn't come across some piece of meat, some, some piece of dead fish, some piece of vegetation, if there's nothing to find, if they find poop in a while, they will eat it. But in aquariums, there's just so much food, there's really no need to eat poop. So the big question is, do fish or are there fish in an aquarium hobby that will eat poop? And for the most part, there are none because in aquariums, um, there's just so much food to go around. A lot of us feed our fish multiple times a day. Um, and there's just always food for fish to find. So a lot of times, there's not going to be any fish in an aquarium hobby willing to eat poop. If you want to get your poop out of your tank, you definitely got to get in there with a siphon and take it out manually. Now, there are different situations. Um, for example, this is a, once again, 55 gallon grow tank. Um, a very lim limited amount of fish in this tank, only about 13 fish in this tank. And I have hundreds of Malaysian trumpet snails in this aquarium. Now, you see the geophagus. After I feed the tank, if there's any leftovers, the geophagus, he sifts through and cleans it up. So there's really not a lot of food left for these Malaysian trumpet snails. And because there's just so many of them, um, they're starving. There's no food because I have my geophagus. I have my South American catfish in that rock that comes out at night. They pick up any scraps left over and there's really no food left for these Malaysian trumpet snails. So the only thing for them to do to survive is to eat poop. And that's, um, that's really the only way you could get a creature in your tank to eat poop. If you provide only enough food for your main fish to eat, like I remember also in my green terror tank, I just had two fish in that tank. I had my male and my female green terror, and I also in that tank had a bunch of Malaysian trumpet snails. And you know, I only had two fish in that tank. Both of those fish only ate like three pellets each. So I really didn't overfeed that tank. And because of that, 
the snails in that tank, the hundreds of snails that, because Malaysian trumpet snails, they just go crazy when it comes to reproducing. So the hundreds of them in that tank, they needed something to eat. I wasn't overfeeding that tank, so they ate poop. So those are like the only occasions where you will find a creature in your tank that's willing to eat poop. Once again, if you keep a large community of fish, and if there's just tons of food to go around, even Malaysian trumpet snails, even like scavenging snails, they won't go after it. But if the situation is where you have a limited amount of fish in your tank, or if you feed your fish, if you don't overfeed your fish, I should say, if you don't overfeed your fish, then there's a good chance that you could get a snail, a crab, or something like that to eat poop in your aquarium. But other than that, you can't go and buy catfish or loaches or snails to eat, to eat poop and expect all the poop in your aquarium to be gone because if you're feeding your fish, most likely you're, they're gonna have scraps and pieces that they can eat and a lot of times they will prefer that over poop. So let me just sum it up. Catfish in a while, they will eat poop. They will scavenge. Um, different types of catfish too. I remember my Cynodonus eruptus, um, my big eye catfish who's living in my African cichlid tank, um, even Corridorus catfish. If, if odds are there's no food, there's no, um, not enough food in a tank for them to eat, they will eat poop as a last resort, or as a last resort, but for the most part, they won't just go after it with joy. So YouTube, this is strictly based upon my experience. So if you have any other opinions, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I am just theorizing based upon my fish and based upon um, what I've seen in my tanks, in my mini tanks. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this topic. In my opinion, you won't ever find a fish that's willing to eat poop unless you're starving, well not starving, but unless you're not overfeeding your tank. And a lot of times we overfeed our fish. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want more, make sure you subscribe because more is coming. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing, who have subscribed. And I'll see you next time.